Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as I promised in the previous video, I'll be building out the speed part and the algorithms part in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Now, this is the same code base from the previous video. If you remember, we left off right here. And do make sure that you watch the previous video. And this is where we left off. So in order to display the speed, I'll be using a form. So let me create a generic form component, form.js. And in here, uh, IMR, both React and RFC for React functional component. Right, so it actually did it for me. So the input was redundant. All right, so now this is exporting the function. All right, not bad, it's good. All right, so now before building out the form, I'm going to need some predefined components from the material UI code library. So I'm going to import those. Import from material UI core, all right, means. All right, so I'll be needing the following components. It's form control, this one, and form control label, this one, form label, radio group, okay, radio, and then radio group. Great. Now let's jump right into building the component. So inside the written statement, I'm going to have a div with a class name of card. Okay, that just opened up GitHub Copilot. So yeah, now it has a class name of card and let me just take a look at the CSS for a moment. Okay, we do have container, right? We have card already. Okay, fine. So I cannot be using the normal container as it is bigger in size. So we're going to need something smaller. So I'm going to create a new container. Small, a small container because we're not going to need such a huge amount of space for the speed and the algorithm changer, all right? So in here, I'm going to have a form control tag. So this will be the form control component. And inside of that, I'll have a form label and I have to display something. So this label, I'll be getting it from the parent component so let me pass it in as prop to this form component so form label i'll be displaying the same thing right here all right so next up I'll be having a radio group as it's listed. And inside the radio group, I will be mapping the values. So let me get the values as well. Values top map. All right, and in here I'll be getting the value and the index, and I will return the form control label. I 
actually I can make it a self-closing tab. Alright, so no errors so far. Nice and clean. Now we need to pass in some props to the form control variable. So I'll give it a key because we're going to have multiple of these and it needs to be unique. So I'll give it a key. That is unique. So it'll be a combination of the value underscore the index. Nice. And then I'll be giving in the value itself. Value equals the value and on change. I need to get that from props. So on change. Okay, why is that hurting out? Yeah, that just went right. I don't know what reason it came in the first place. Alright, so I think this should not change. No. The radio group is the one that's supposed to change. And I'm going to get another prop as well called current value. That. And the value prop of this radio group is going to change to current value. Perfect. And now, control will be radio. Label will be Well, I need to get labels as well. And uh, it should work now. LES. Perfect. Now, let's go ahead and import this in the app.js. Now, let me import the forms component. Okay, so imports algorithms icons the other components right here. Import form from dot slash components slash form. Perfect. And I'm going to come all the way down here. I'm going to take out the panel. I think we don't need this. Or wait, let's have it inside of the panel. Form. Let me have, make it a self closing tag. All right, and now we have to pass in the props. So the form label, that is the first prop, is going to be speed. What was the second prop? The values. So the values are going to be. It's going to be an array, right? Since we're mapping through it, it's going to be 500, 400, 300, 300, and 100. Yeah, good. And next was the next one on change. So I'm going to save on change for later. So let me move it at the last. All right. So, what is the current value going to be? Okay, the current value is going to be this dot state dot delay. We have delay, right? That's a state. Yep, we do have delay. So, that is not going to be an issue. And next up, we're going to be needing the label. So let me format it first. Okay, good. Labels. That is also going to be an array. So we have one x, two x, 
3x, 4x, and 5x. That'll be good. And last but not least, the on change. And this dot make it change speed. So I need to write this function. Let me copy the name of that function. Let us define the function. Where shall we define it? Um, getting confused though. Let me just define it before that. That'll be fine. So chain speed equals and I'll just have an different one. So it is automatically suggesting and that is not what we need. So this dot here timeouts and call that and then I'm going to call this dot set state I'm going to change the delay to e dot target dot value but that would be returning a string so I have to parse it to enter good now let me save this And it's compiling. Okay. Let me refresh it. All right. You can see we will be styling this. So, no judgment on the looks right now. So, it's 1x speed. Let me try to sort it. As you can see, it's very slow in sorting. Now, let me go 5x speed. As you can see, it is faster. So, the speed component is added. Now, you can fiddle around with it but I'm just going to get into styling it. All right. Yep, perfect. Now, let me go ahead and style this one. So I'll be going into app.css and I'll be defining the container small. So where is the container? Yeah, underneath this container small and let's have a padding of 1 em. Does that make it look? Okay. Color, let me make it another. Now let's change the width to 10 pm. Perfect. So that is changed. And now fix the line to center. Then the border radius will be 5 pixels only. Good. So it is aligned to the left. Now I think I need to add some styling to the panel as well. So, give some margin top. Add a pivot, yeah. It's not showing much change there. All right, we make a display flex. Justify content space evenly. And align items center. Perfect, it is at the center now. I think I need to just change the way this looks. Right? 
so contain a small we make the color change the color to something different what about about red that isn't changing about the components right the form we go to the inspect action display contain a small panel okay so the background color is overridden by this one card so what i can do is i can add the card after small Let's see Still getting overridden. So if I need to change it, I need to change the card itself. All right, so, or I think I can add a style right here. Style. Okay, so that is changing it. Now, let me explicitly define the color. I need to choose a good one. What color could I give it? Would this be good? Let's try it out. I think that will do it. Yeah, perfect. Um, before that, let me just change the card. Where's the card? Yeah, port radius padding 0, 1 pm. So left and right 0, dot, 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 2. Okay, it's left and right 2. 1. Good. Point four. Three. I think that'll do it. All right. So, or I could change it manually right here. Adding one pm. One. PM. All right. So that looks fine. So the speed is added. Uh, next up, I'll be adding the algorithms. So see you later.